Welcome guys, today I'm going to show you classic playstyle and game settings. Before starting the video, let me clear one thing. This video is for those who struggles to find their settings to improve the overall gameplay experience. Let's start the video. Go to in game pause menu from a practice match to set your controls without any interruption. Now, let me clear the main control type of the game. You can play with buttons in classic control type, and you can play by swiping gesture moves with touch and flick control type. It is all up to you that which one is suitable for your own playstyle. For a suggestion, if you're a beginner of this game, try to play with classic control. After mastering that control type, you can then switch to touch and flick control. The next option is about the joystick actions. If you set this to off, then you can see, the joystick visibility is zero. And if you select move, your joystick will move around the whole left side of the screen. For a very accurate joystick control action, you can select the movable joystick. And then, fixed. This will stick the joystick to only its position, and you can't move the whole joystick. It is better for a learner like me to play with fixed joystick. But don't worry about it, you can choose any of these. No special formula or theory to fix your gameplay with only one option of joystick settings. The next is cursor change. If you select assisted, the game will help your selection with the players for each movement you or your opponent performs. The semi-auto will make it a half health. It will help you in emergency cases and will change the player cursor in extreme long passes and throughs. The next is manual, and if you are good with your gameplay and have a better understanding of player movement, then you can easily go with manual cursor change. Remember, you can change the cursor by yourself anytime. Making the selection to assisted or semi-auto will not turn off your cursor change movements. The next is again a joystick settings. This is movement input range. Means, the area of your joystick to move within. If you select wide, your movement area will increase by whole. When you select medium, the area of movement will decrease. And lastly, selecting the narrow will make the movement area closer. Now, for your understanding, narrow movement area is harder for accurate direction movements. But it will make the movement of direction changes fast. And selecting white option will make it exactly opposite of narrow. Then come to classic commands options. Here you can select the defending control types. Playing with standard type will turn your primary player to manual movement like this. You have to control your primary player with the joystick or he will not move anywhere. And when you select the option pressure style, it will make both of your players move without the joystick movement. And if you move them without joystick, they'll only trace the opponent player with the ball. But you can also control your primary player with joystick and pressure style option too. The next option is very important. It is button configuration. With this option, you can freely move or change any given button. You can change the fixed position of the joystick to anywhere in the left side of your screen. And also you can change the positions of command buttons to anywhere in the screen. One more thing to remember, you can also change the button options by selecting their commands. It will help you to play with completely your personal movements. You also can change the same settings with defending control commands. Every button is eligible to exchange the command of any other button. The next is the opacity of the command buttons. Remember that, it'll not make any changes in the joystick. Select the opacity of buttons as per your requirements. After this, all settings are for your match screen. The very first option is about the cursor type. It will show nothing if turn it off. By selecting the player name option, the name of the selected player will show in game. And by selecting it to action, it will show the command of your movements. Means if you perform a pass or a shot, it will show that above the player's head. The next player indicator will show the next potential player you want to give a pass or a through. Then, if you turn the next option off, it will go invisible. But making the selection will show in your screen every time. It doesn't matter if you turn it off. 
The next is Radar. Radar is an important thing to understand. It will show you all the player's position in the field with the ball. And you can change the colors of home team and away team as well. Display player names of opponent's team is an option only. It doesn't matter if you turn it off or on. When it is on, you can always read the opponent player's name closer to your selected player. And the last option is own team cursor type. You can select this to player name or to username. Or you can turn it off if you want to. Remember one thing, classic control type is way easier than touch and flick control. If you want a detailed video on these two types of controls, please let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and share the video with your friends. Subscribe for more upcoming tips and gameplay videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.